Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 24. With me, Mr. CDP. I'm back in and I'm ready to go with liming around the two edges of the field that I extended. If we go back to here, these two sections here, I've just realised as well I didn't record liming over here. I limed it and I have fertilised it for a second time and it will need a third one after that. Um, the seeder I got, the John Deere one, I've been right, reliably informed by Heavy Metal Gaming that you can extend arms out, but you only get the arms when you attach a second one to it, which seems a bit peculiar. Um, but anyway, so you can extend that one that I bought. So the 5.2 can become then the 10.4 and then the something else, 15.6. <laughs> it will go out further and further. So what I'm going to do is this first. That's as tight as that goes, apparently. Yep. And I'm going to run out of line, probably. But anyway, and then I'm going to grab that Gutler Matador. Is it Matador? The uh, roller. And I'm going to roll it all. That will take a little bit of time. But that, that again, is a kind of... Not inconsequential. It needs to be done. But it's one of those things I've done a few times before. And well, I suppose, like anything, um, I've done it before. I have been thinking... I'm going to be sorting out the chickens and oh well, that was it just remembered um hang on do that bit second hand vehicle market we moved into march 2 and i didn't check it and when i went back in to check it not that one that one there the leader pf the farrison was there already and i said oh i don't know i'd rather get a trailed one but that popped in as well plus a couple of tractors as well these are on here that massive ferguson 7 series that's quite nice um for 93 grand, 53% off, not a bad price at all. Um, but that, the self line is in there, but that's only a 22,000 a year. But I thought for 100 grand, 50% off, that's pretty cool. And then I kind of came back to that original one of, well, if I was looking at buying that, why not get that one, which is larger? Only by a little bit. It means I'd have to do more mixes than if I got that, that trailed one that's a 45,000 litre one. But at 53% off, Actually, I think that's probably not a bad idea. If we're going to be sorting cows out, why not get a self-propelled mix? And I'm not going to be requiring a vehicle to pull it. It's, you know, self-propelled under its own steam. Uh, what I will do, though, is take that off. So I think I'm going to buy it. Yeah. I'm going to start making some money again because I, <laughs> I'm spending it all... <laughs> <laughs> which is no bad thing, you know, I'm buying farming stuff, which is cool, but um, I am spending a lot of it. Let's check on our sat nag, how are we getting on? Oh, it's all pretty much cleared, so yeah, then it'll just be on to uh, a bit of rolly mo, and we'll be good to go. I used quite a bit of the manure up here, so it'll be a case of when I um, when I need some more, I might have to buy manure right I'm off to get a roller and I'm going to do it's going to take me a while I'm going to do a whole load of rolling so um, oh, there may be a little bit of a you know, montage type thing I don't know I haven't quite decided yet but we'll grab that that's that liming done what I can do any fertiliser left over and lime if I wanted to I could put over in my silo over there or because I know there are some available like I said before, the Omitana one, there's one for five grand, which is a multi-fruit. If I just wanted a silo to store some, some of these things in, I could put another one in. Or I could just put one in specifically for lime and things like that. What we'll do, because I don't actually own this. I probably should buy one, actually. Unload that. Drop that down. Now, I think the roller it's designed to be a front one but i'm sure i've used it as a rear one before i think i did on oh, I don't know. do i just bite the bullet and say to myself you know what i've, I've used it again i'm falling back on the same stuff i've used the mega roll i used that on the western wilds the smaller power roll i don't know if i have actually it's 12.3 so it's over double that but that runs at nine miles now these got seven so Oh yeah, I'm going to use this. Why not? Let's lease it. 
like I say, it's supposed, supposed to, supposed to be on the front, but I'm, uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to roll this hillside, so I'll probably go out there first and try it. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I'm not that convinced. I've still got to go up and load up that trailer with all of the wood beams and planks along, because I need to bring some of those down. Will this work? This is a really funny angle, a lot of this. If I go across it... Yeah, it's going to miss loads, isn't it? I think the tracks don't help. It doesn't actually touch the ground. I think I might be better with this one on the front. No, 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 stay there, stay there. Don't... <laughs> That's a stupid place to unhitch it, isn't it? Good move. Maybe on the front it'll work. Right, let's drop it down. Try again. Yep. On the front. That's the way to go. So like I said, potentially... I mean... Rolling... I am changing the ground state. But it's whether or not it will then let me fertilise a third time over the top of the rolling, maybe. If not, I'll just wait for the grass to grow. When I get the first emergence of grass, then I'll roll it. So I've got... I need to get that tree out of my And then I'll go and roll the other, the other fields as well. I'm now panicking, thinking, this is a roller, isn't it? I'm not cultivating this. <laughs> Let me just double check before I move into absolute panic mode. Let's take needs rolling. Put that on. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> and my brain goes, <gasps> what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? So we can do atomics ration now, that's good. Probably a good time for those to come up actually. There's a bit of flex in that, not massive amount, but enough, I think. We're back here on Silver Run. Uh, we've got a great demand up at the container warehouse. I've just purchased a 12 meter container. I've been doing a little bit more logging over by the railroad, and what I've also, it's been suggested when I said in one of the episodes, last episode, whatever it was, about this trailer tipping over. A few people commented and said it's because the ball hitch. Now, obviously in real life it's a ball and it can rotate in different directions. It has been suggested that that's the reason why it's tipping over. So what I'm going to do, I need to do some repair work on the, the um, pickup as well, is um, the pickup needs a bit of repair, we'll do that. This, I'll repair it as well, but customise, we go down to we? Gooseneck, put it on bumper pull. I don't, mm, I don't know, we'll see. Um, the test will be, and I will show you. We'll see if this works. I'm going to go and grab the, um, actually, I probably need to, let me just place the lower it. I might be able to. I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe I could raise and lower the pickup. I can remember. So I'm not going to because I'm not on it, that's fine. So a little bit better. It just lowered itself a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick up the um, stump grinder. Oh, is that got a fire department in it? Why? Every time I go into the, the menu to do any work, it reverts back to whatever license plate's in there. I have to change that, but for the time being, so this will be the test. If I put this on here, and as I drive away, it flips over. Everything has been done up here. I've got one final fertilising state to do, so we'll see how that pans out. But that'll be once the grass has grown. So we're going to load this up. Uh, we're going to. We're about. Well, just over an hour off of the. Um, I need to go around and collect up all the offcuts. I've got loads all over the place. Um, 
the next boat being ready, and that will go at two o'clock. I mean, it's ready; it just needs to go. Um, and then we're going to put in. Now, I've had a bit of a think. I know it doesn't happen very often, does it? But I'm not going to do chickens. There is a reason. In my head, there's a reason. I've got an idea of something else I want to do instead. It will be a process that will use wheat, but I'll, what I would normally do is do the chickens, put the wheat in, or the barley, or the sorghum, whatever I'm going to put in. Am I going to get through that gap? Probably not. No. And then we'd get our eggs. But I thought, what if I use the wheat for something else? And obviously there's all sorts of things. I could do flour and all sorts of things like that. But I'm not going to necessarily say now, because we will do an episode on it. I'm going to buy another plot of land as well. With the other field on, the final field. Actually, might as well do that now. While I'm talking about it, uh, this plot over here, the wheat field here is, I think it's only one off of being ready to harvest. Maybe it needs to go another one darker. But this is going to cost, how much is this? Hang on. There we go. Uh, 115,000. And I get all the stuff around it, including the trees and all the bits. So, you know what? It will give me a little bit more forestry I can do as well. I say flat, fairly flat, but it'll give me a bit of land. So I'm thinking if I'm going to sell the boat at two o'clock, we'll get a bit of money back for that. So we now own that plot of land, which means when that's ready to harvest, I can do that. When that's ready to harvest, I said about doing that plot along there for doing the fishery and then said what I might do is put the fishery here. If I'm going to do the fishery, then extend the field on these two sides so it makes the field bigger that way if so if i lose a little bit of there it's not the end of the world um yeah that's kind of what i'm hoping we'll see how this works it's a lot of weight on the bumper i'm trying to think was there another option for the wheels i think there was another axle option where it pulled the axles further up the trailer Maybe I could go for that. But I'll show you what I mean. Well, if it doesn't do it now, that would be exactly what caused it. Right, let's... No, not that. Let's strap those down. Because rather than strap at the bottom, it straps the whole thing over. So I'm wondering whether that's why it becomes then top-heavy. But when I did this before, as soon as I drove off, the trailer just, it just flipped. It just did not want to know. As soon as I turned the corner, the whole thing just went over. Maybe it was. Maybe it was the gooseneck. I will take this up to get rid of the stumps um, fully. I just want to test this out now. Oh, it hasn't tipped over yet. Maybe it was that then. Good shout. There are a few different people that put in the comments and I've got a couple of direct messages about this, so... Oh, okay. No, that was me. That wasn't. Hmm, okay. Seems to be okay. Like I said, I'll take that up in a minute. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to try and ch I'm going to check on the um, wheel configurations. Let's just pop that over a minute. Change it off. Because I'm just thinking that might have been something I should have done from the start as well. Let's put this on, get this up, get this delivered. I want to put it closer to the back this time, I think. I do. Tell you what, this wheel load is getting a workout. It's getting moved all over the place. I'm enjoying the fact I have been using the AI workers a lot more than I ever used to. Some maps they work brilliant, the other maps not so much, but on this one, after my initial kind of, I had a couple of hiccups here and there, but um, it was just a case of getting them on the road in the right place. I found if you had multiple turns, I didn't like it. For example, if I set that off here, on this bit of road here, or probably this side of the road, to go up to the North Sawmill, 
I kept getting the message saying it couldn't, couldn't do the journey, couldn't make the journey, wouldn't do it. If I went round the corner and up the road a little bit there and set it off, it'd go no problem at all. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't know why. But once you kind of get your head around a couple of different things like that, I've got a couple of straps and I don't need them any on, do we? I mean, we do. We should have them all on, but. I know I can do some in cab as well. I'm back to that same old situation. I was going to get my ranty pants on, but I'm not going to because then people get more annoyed about the fact I'm ranting. I can't win either way. And that's what I'm talking about. It's about not being able to win no matter what I do. If I do it like that, people will then message and go, why are you bothering to do that? Just do it from in cab. You can do all the straps from in cab. If I do that, then people are like, why are you doing it from in cab? You wouldn't be able to do that in real life. In real life, you have to do the straps one at a time. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Just leave me. No, no. It's fine. <laughs> it's the nature of the beast. As you can see, I've cleared a load from this side as well now. I'm going to drive away down here as well, just because my brain is telling me you can't drive through the fence. Which I wouldn't be able to in real life. I will try and avoid driving on the field. It wasn't so easy when I was doing the logging up the top end. There's probably some tyre tracks and stuff sitting in the corner of the field, but... They're all done, they're all rolled. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it because it's got manure on the top and it's got lime over there, but all the fields are rolled and they're good to go now. So that should just start growing. So what we'll do... The position of this is not going to be perfect, but... We'll get these in. Get it done. I've probably got way more than I need. I've got all the offcuts on the log trailer. It's all the ones that weren't 12 meter, all the end bits. Too much, but it's all right. Can I try a little more? Come on. There we go. Well, that actually wasn't too bad. I was going to say it was a terrible angle, but actually, it didn't work too bad. Did it? Oh no. I'll get the first couple off. I can't because it's got above that. There we go, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Actually, this is, um, I've got another two piles up there. I might get two container loads out of this. I was only thinking I would do one. Depends if this one, and actually, no, this one might fill it, I don't think. <sighs> All good. Get it in. But like I said, I need to bring the stump grinder over here because I've got a load of stumps to get rid of. The smaller trees will stay where they are for the time being. I was thinking if I do at some point decide to go down the chicken pen route because I, was, I wasn't going to. Um, I was going to, then I changed my mind. I could put a chicken pen up here because it's fairly flat on this little bit up here. Get rid of the stumps could put them up here in the north part of the field because I've got a bit of space here. Yeah, I might do. one tree away aren't we right i'll drive this up drive that up we'll load that up, we'll get up there we're getting there i'm still doing a mix of the two actually i might just drive this back it might be a little bit easier might rather than bring the hole up there um yeah I'm, I'm still trying to do a mix of the two so as i'm doing farming now as well i'm still doing the logging i'm still filling up bits that need to be filled up i'm do I want to have another rant? Oh, people are getting annoyed with me moaning, but... It's probably because I didn't change map, because I decided I'd stay on here and do farming. And it's again that weird thing of... 
when I said thank you to everyone, did I leave that in yesterday? Thank you to everyone that stuck with the videos, that stuck with this Let's Play. Um, my argument to the, the pr problem is this. A lot of YouTubers, when this map came out, cheated through to getting the roller coaster done because they wanted to show people the roller coaster done. And I get that because it's great content and people want to see the roller coaster done. I've always, whatever I've been doing, tried to do it say the proper way. I know I do some stuff that's not realistic and that kind of thing. Um, and I know people kind of weren't overly thrilled about it being a login map only and not everyone likes watching login and what I'm more puzzled about is before Christmas um, viewing figures were really good you know I, I'm, I'm really happy with it and I'm, I'm you know and I can't complain because people are still watching and again it's that thing of the bigger you become as a channel and the more views you get you have to remember back to when you weren't getting many views when your channel was smaller there'll be a lot of smaller channels and people watching going oh listen to him it's so arrogant and um, and you know I'd, I'd kill for the sort of viewing figures he's getting and I'm, I'm not saying that's not the case you know I'm, I'm really happy that and I'm thanking everyone that's still watching but what I don't get it's almost like Christmas was a weird cut off point that the viewing figures were you know at a certain level you know I won't go into the actual specifics of the views that kind of thing but Christmas came and went and now I know I had Christmas off and I had New Year off and there was a couple of gaps here and there and there hadn't been any mods and that kind of thing but people were still watching the Let's Play um, after Christmas the viewing figures plummeted I mean just I've probably got a third of the viewing figures now that I had before Christmas and what I don't understand is how two-thirds of the viewing audience and up, I've done what 15 16 17 videos at that point it was fairly consistent that two-thirds of the people viewing suddenly said at Christmas I don't want to watch that anymore it, I I don't know it baffles me so I mean that kind of thing of what, what do I do I kind of asked people you know should I move you know a lot of people said no stay where you are do farming which I'm doing um, so the, the people that were watching that were like oh, I'm bored of logging I'm doing farming now and I've put up a few videos of farming stuff, but the views aren't coming back up. And now it's that thing of, I don't just want to just knock this on the head and say, right, I'm going to go to another map now because I need to get my viewing figures back up again. I need to get more views. Because my whole channel was based on when I first started out, it was just me playing, just having fun. You know, it, it didn't matter. But again, we're back to that YouTuber thing of you focusing so much on analytics and numbers and viewing figures. And when you start to see that dip, you start to panic. And I don't want to become one of those knee-jerk YouTubers that are bouncing from this to that to this to you know. I know I do it with SnowRunner and Construction Sim and that kind of stuff. Those were things that I, I I've enjoyed playing. But this is my mainstay. This is this is the game I play. This is what I do. Um, Let's plays have always been a big part of my channel. I did have a couple of messages left. Someone said, "Oh, you know, the Let's Plays okay. I don't mind watching it, but." Um, it should issue your mod reviews that are the mainstay of your channel. I don't agree with that. My Let's Plays have always been the mainstay of the channel. The mod reviews are, are something I do and they're a big part of it, absolutely. But maybe that's not the case. I don't know. Everyone watches for different reasons. I totally understand that. Um, I know it's sad. And like I say, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm explaining. I'm, I'm, I'm just really, really panicked, you know. It's that thing of, as well, I don't want this to be the end of my channel, you know. It's all of a sudden it just goes and no one watches my content anymore. But then you start looking at other YouTubes and thinking, well, my content isn't vastly different. And if I was doing this on a different map, the only difference would be it'd be a different map. I'd still be doing farming. I'd still be doing the processes I'm doing. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one. Answers on the postcard. What do you think? I don't know. I know everyone will have their, their, um, their thoughts and opinions, because everyone does. I totally get that, and, and I understand if you know you get a few people so suddenly you think, no, oh, I don't know, I'm you know, just not enjoying it anymore, and that's fine. I, I totally get that. A lot of people have messaged and said I should go back to doing the really narrative-driven let's plays with characters and stuff like that, um, and I've done that a lot. And, and the thing I do enjoy doing that, but it's incredibly difficult to maintain that, to keep that going for an entire let's play, um, because then I've got that again. The, the thing of I'll be doing a, a narrative driven let's play then a load of the comments are all 
well, where did that come from? Where, where's that mod come from? Why is that now there? Um, who's that mod by? And I will always say the mod, mods are written in the description. Not links, but they are written in the description. Um, and then people say, well, you, you didn't explain who that mod was by or how it works and that kind of thing. So, you, again, you're torn. Do I go just narrative-driven where I'm telling a story? But then the people that want to know how mods are working, let's see what we get for that. 132 grand. Well, okay, I'm going to go back and get another container. You know, if I cut down a couple more trees, I'm going to load up what I've got, um, and then I'll, what I'll do, I'll probably see you. I'm going to do the cow stuff. I might do the second container off camera. I want to sort the cows and stuff out. So I know I, I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm moaning. It's just I was watching Jimmy Broadbent. I've talked about him a lot. He does um, like racing stuff, and his channel grew and grew and grew, uh, racing sims and rallies and all that kind of stuff and then he got uh, offered a, a racing drive with a team called Praga as their amateur driver and him and the pro driver last season he's done two seasons now last season they won the Praga season it was just incredible so he's not proper racing driver as well now so he's doing that he did a stream the other day saying how after Christmas he's really been struggling with his mental health and feeling quite depressed and down and lost his mojo with what he wants to do and where he wants to go although his channel was a lot bigger and he was saying he's got a manager for his channel and he was talking to his manager and they were discussing where should his channel go next and it's that thing of because I'm kind of my own boss and I decide and control what I do when I do it where I go who you know how much time you know it just puts you in the real panic mode and then it is panic mode I'm I'm really really concerned about the channel you know and I know I've had people messing me before saying that I've changed so much since my channel's got bigger and I'm arrogant and I'm this and the other I, I don't think I am but if people think I am I'm sorry if, if that comes across I don't want to appear arrogant and off and probably this is probably another reason why people have, have stopped me watching and sitting fed up with me moaning and stuff I guess I don't know I just talk I've always have done just talk about the stuff I'm doing um, let's get another container. So yeah, I don't know what to do for the best really. It's just a kind of, oh, I'll just get it like that. Um, buy that. Like that. We'll go over and sort out these cows, shall we? The, the, the thing about it is, a big part of me is saying, stick with it, stick, stick, stick to your guns. The views, the wall, stop the wall, aren't great, but they're views, you know, at the end of the day, and I shouldn't be focused on that. I know it's easy to say I shouldn't be focused on that, but it's how I earn my money, it's, you know. And I want to stay on this map because I like the map, and I'm doing farming as well now. I've added that in, and I wasn't doing that before. Then another part of me is saying, no, you know what, you should just cut and run, you should just move, start a new Let's Play. And a lot of people have been saying to you, why don't you do two Let's Plays? Now, the other thing I will say with that, doing something like SnowRunner, which I was doing as well as this, SnowRunner is to pick up and play. There's a lot of games, construction sim was like that, you just, you're just recording while you play, which is so much easier to do, because there's no setup really required, you're just recording what you play as you're going along. On this, on farm sim, there's always been a lot of um, background work, all the off-screen prep, all the stuff that people don't see, that between episodes I might do three, four hours worth of work around the map, around the farm, to get to where I need to be for the episode. And that's the bit that people don't see. When you get people commenting saying, you know, why aren't you posting as many videos? Why aren't you doing two Let's Plays? When I was doing two Let's Plays, I don't know, it all just seems a lot simpler. I think because FS22's got so much more stuff now with all the production chains and all the things you can do, and a lot more of the mods, because of production chains, are a lot more complicated to, to run, and the logistics of it are a lot more complicated than ever used to be. It's a lot harder to maintain. I know, I know there are lots of YouTubers out there that are doing multiple. I know VF does four. I think he streams a couple and does a couple. Um, I t honestly, I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how people manage to run multiple 
um, Let's Plays at the same time. My mind fries because I bounce from one to the other and I can never remember what I've done on one and on the next. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. This, this, <laughs> watch man have mental breakdown on channel. Yeah, it feels a little bit like that. Um, so what I want to do is put in on this flat-ish bit here a cow barn. It's going to be a cow barn, not one with a pasture attached. It's a self-made cow shed. Details in the description. I'm probably going to put it here. I'm only going to do one. I think it holds 45, so I'm going to put 22 in. So when they reproduce, I'll be full. That at least is the plan at the moment. So normally you get the pop and it appears. And I did it on one the other day and not the other. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to actually show it. So under animals, under cows. I've got those ones I've used of Valian Jim's Animal Barn Pack. I used those in the Western Wilds. Did you see them on Griffin? I can't remember now. Um, that's the one I want to use. I'd really like the look of this. It's 36,500. I want to get it as close to 36,500 as I can. Oh, that's going to require very little alteration then, isn't it? Boom, let's put it there. It's not very big, but it doesn't need to be. I can't remember what end the cows are. I say the cows are the trigger. So a slurry pit's this end. Um, let's open up the menu. Because that might life a little bit easier. Where are we? Cows that end. Right, so the slurry point's this end. Turn that off. That on. Just double check. Open door, yeah. There you go. It's a slurry pit. Um, so, 22. What do I go for? Should we go brown Swiss this time? I won't go brown Swiss. We'll get them ready to go. Let's go for 22. Now, I like the look of it. Isn't it weird how your mind works? I'm already... I like the look of that. I like the fact it didn't take up a huge amount of space, but now I'm looking thinking, actually, I probably could have got away with the pasture at the front as well. So but then I wanted to use something different. I know there are tons and tons in there that, you, you know, there are so many to choose from. But my mind is now saying, I suppose because I'm because a farm dog, I've, I've noticed, I've talked about this before, but I watch stuff on telly now, and there's a lot of stuff with animals that would never have bothered me before until I got a dog. Now I've got a farm dog. I'm looking at these animals thinking, that doesn't seem fair. They, they need to have somewhere they can get outside. Isn't it weird? You know, I know it's just a game. They're not real, but it's bonkers how that becomes a thing. But it is. Um, let's go up there. Do, 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 do. Straw, bedding, they're going to need. They don't need any water. We're good to go there. So, tell mix ration then. That does 26,000. Am I going to pad it out with straw? I think I might just do half and half. So what I need to do, I say half and half, that's not going to be as straightforward, is it? Um, because I'm going to need... That's 26,000. That's 13,000 litres of slurry, 13,000 litres of silage. Now, these were three and a half, weren't they? So three of them is going to be nine, ten and a half. Four of them will be 14, which takes me a little bit above. I'm hoping I can make that work. That if I do four and then do the rest with silage, I'll still get my total mix ration. Can I get up that high? I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, that was close. I was worried. Don't worry, the wraps get removed. Come on. Oh. Isn't that weird? Come on. There we go. Um, it's going to be turned on. 
why is that not going in? What is going on? <gasps> no, they're not fermented yet. Hang on a minute. When did that... I haven't got seasons up. What? Huh? Am I losing my mind? When did that change? Normally you wrap your silage bales and uh, silage. They ferment in a bunker silo. The old seasons used to do that. When did that change? Oh, not so much ration yet. They're not silage yet. Oh, honestly, I think I'm, today's the day. I think today's the day I'm going to break. <sighs> I am honestly now standing there thinking I'm. I've absolutely have lost my mind. I just. I can't remember anything. I'm sure. When, when was that thing? I know it used to be the old realismus modding. It was always if you made silage bales, as soon as they were wrapped, they were silage. If you put them in a silage clamp, they had to, it had to ferment. Then with the realismus modding seasons, that changed, and they had to ferment. It was a big thing about it; it had to ferment, which it does do. I get it; it has to ferment. But that wasn't FS22 with seasons, was it? I'm sure I've done silage bales before, and that hasn't been the case. Well, that's absolutely scuppered everything, and that's. don't know what to do now. I haven't even got anywhere I can go and buy silage from. Oh, have I? Um, how do I get the bales out of that? That's not going to reach in. Well, I know where I can do it, but it's not particularly, uh, it's not an acceptable operation. Think, think, think. Let's go back to my bags and pallets. Farm supply pack. Was there a silage one? I'm sure there was. Silage pallet. I'm going to have to buy some silage to get, at least get their first load in until that's completely done. Um, I need one, two, three. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, okay, what I'm going to need to do is I'll see you over at the store. I can put the pallets on, that's not a problem. And... I'll have to get a little bit on. That was not what I was intending at all. I can't believe that. How did I not know that? Why is it? Okay. I decided the best way to clear my head was to do a little bit more logging and fill up another container, which I've done. So I'm going to bring up here. While I was driving up here, I thought, you know what? I'm going to have to go and check this because I am genuinely concerned there's something wrong with me now. Um, so I went over to the Western Wilds. And uh, 128, a little bit less, but that's alright. Did some silage bales, and they said exactly the same thing. Fermenting. Now I'm second-guessing everything I've done. I'm sure when I did Griffin, and I did all those baling contracts, because there were loads of baling contracts, that I was baling silage bales and delivering them straight away. But now and then I'm thinking, our silage contracts, if you're doing contract work, is that different? Will it take them because they're wrapped? Or, honestly, I don't... <sighs> so, it's 10 to 2. I'm going to go down and enjoy the serenity of the boat launching 
Uh, I've had a couple of workers. The wheel loader has taken the silage pallets we purchased and taken them up to the silo. I did try to put them into the um, mixer wagon and it wouldn't let me put them in. I tried to put them in from the mixer wagon, so just do a refill and it wouldn't do them. So what I think I'm going to have to do is put them into my melting fruit silo, then take the mixer wagon to the melting fruit silo. It's, it's, it's all a bit all over the shop, but hopefully, I mean, if those bales are sitting at 56% now, by April 1, they should be fermented, in which case I should be fine moving forward. But who knows? And I've also just realised what I've uh, oh no, because I'm not. I'm going to use the straw for bedding. That's right. I'm not padding out the mix, am I? So we should be okay there. So yeah, I'm going to head along. Uh, when it gets to two o'clock, we'll watch the boat launch. <laughs> and um, I'm going to curl up in a corner, put my thumb in my mouth, <laughs> and rock backwards and forwards ever so slowly. Actually, you know what I'll do? Might as well take this while we're here. Let's take this while we're here. Since I'm heading that way anyway. And get a load of more of those stumps ground. Uh, mods did drop yesterday, however they were all PC. There were no console mods yesterday. So we'll see today if we get any console mods. Okay, um, let's put a couple of straps in there. That should do. Let's just tip over now, <laughs> just to prove me wrong. There we go. There we go. No, turn your wheels, turn your wheels. I don't get it. Look, the whole thing's shifted. That's not where it was when I strapped it down. So why is that now moved? And now be because it's not sitting central, if I take the straps off, it doesn't do it. Yeah, I drove that down off the hillside and it was absolutely fine. So why? Maybe I need to get an actual dedicated low loader, possibly. Turn the engine off. That hasn't moved. Strap it, strap it, strap it. Jump in. Right, that hasn't moved. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe I need to get an actual low load for doing this kind of stuff. I don't know. It's moving. You can see it moving. Look, it's sliding off. It does not want to be strapped down on there, does it? But it didn't do that when it came down off the hill. And if I turn, it's going to do that. So I can't strap it down. Okay, well. <laughs> Before I scream and throw something at my screen. I used to be so good at this game. <laughs> See if that's still on the trailer by the time we get back. Who knows? Nearly there. He says. Do, do, do. So what I need to go and check on. I think I set pepper, pepper mills and bowls to manufacture. I haven't checked on those actually since I set those off. And then I need to go back and check on the um, shingles. I don't think I've got a full pallet yet, but I need to get those delivered as soon as I can because it will hold up roller coaster production. It's a long minute. There we go.
Wasn't the weather awful last time we did this? I'm trying to remember. We couldn't really see very well, could we? If I recall correctly. But then, as it stands at the moment, I don't know. Do I recall correctly? Probably not. It was 180. I'm sure I didn't got 160 last time. 180 grand. Brilliant stuff. So that um, stands us in good stead for moving forward with my next phase of my plan. Happy days. Sunflowers are growing. Let's get this over. And I did manage to get the uh, bales out. You can probably guess how. Ooh, camera collision. It's gonna go. It's gonna fall off. I don't understand. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I've had enough. I'm going to feed my cows, they'll appreciate it. Actually, I might do the straw first, actually, to put the bedding in. Should be able to do that I think I'm on the side of the left, I'm not sure, but I think I am. Don't know how much it's going to take. Back into the silo. I'm hoping this next bit works. <laughs> if it doesn't. <laughs> oh. Do anything with these silage bags. It won't let me tip them into there, it won't let me unload them into here. It's a multi fruit silo, so it too, should take silage, it should take pallets. What do I do with them? It won't let me tip them into here. Honestly, if the mods drop later on today and there are any mods that are going to be complicated, confusing, an absolute nightmare to work out, I. I, I 
go and get a job working at Tesco's and right. it's not working either. So what do I do with these silage pallets then? That doesn't make any sense at all. You can buy silage but I can't use it. Oh, there we go. Why didn't it do that before? I tried that at the store. <sighs> I hope everyone's having a great day. <laughs> Set higher or something? What's, what's, what's going on? What's occurring? Do I have to lift this up? Oh. Okay, what my attacks do now? There we go, it's been raised. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it would be funny if I wasn't so terrified. 13,000 is what we're going for. Go and put the hay in <laughs> and watch it not make up with ration. I would say that I'd still be sat there in the next episode, but it won't because I can't leave it. Right. Hey. Come on, tight mix ration. Give me tight mix ration. There we go. Boom. Tom Pemberton, they got a new uh, new mixer. Well, a version of the one they had before. Or a newer version of the one they had before. With more bells and whistles. How are we looking now for feed? We got there. We got some feed in there. Oh, we're not far off full. That's cool. I'll do another load and then... Um, I can't do another load, can I? Without buying more silage. That should be fine. I'll leave that as it is. That can continue feeding them until my silage bales are fermented. Once the silage bales are fermented, we'll be golden. I just need to check. Have we got a light switch in here? Have we got lights in here? I don't think we have actually. At least they're munching. That's nice. <laughs> I 
Right, I've got to try and sort out this trailer and thing now. And then I'm going to head out. I'm going to check out the, the new plot and then that's, like I say, then I'm going to have a lie down. <sighs> Can't make this up, can you? Do it now. I'll come back and sort those out later on. Uh, which way's okay? Go we'll cover on the side of the field and we'll go up over the tracks. Let's go and check out a new plot of land. Some beans. Plant my foot on the whoosh pedal. So this is our new plot. So if I want to keep the field as it is and where it is, I'm thinking how far out does this plot go to the side? We well, it shows all the way out to the edge of the map, which is where exactly. There's some more rock here that I can clear. Okay, so I'm thinking if I clear these trees here, I might wood chip these actually. Give me a chance to use that fancy wood chip for that class thing maybe. There's some rock piles I can get rid of. It's fairly flat up this top end here, which may give me room for what I want to do. Because as I move further down here, it's a little bit more sloped. It might be a little bit more difficult for placing things. There's plenty more lumber here, which is pretty cool. I was suggested I use the uh, one of the heating plants as well. And um, do wood chip and put it into the heating plant. Is that, my, is that our boat? It's taking a while to get up here, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, this is our new plot. I can't buy that. I don't think I can buy that little plot there. That's a nice little place, isn't it? I wonder if we could just put a sleep trigger over here somewhere. Have this is our home overlooking the lake. I've been looking for a place, haven't I? This may become home sweet home. We'll see. Um, so, yes, I have plans moving forward. One is to avoid the pad itself and a straight jacket. Uh, the other involves yeah, mysterious things that you will see as we move forward. The cows are now fed though, they are done and we'll go from there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.